Just before you start removing it, disconnect those two bolts which mounting the MagSafe adapter on place. This one. Even the bolt is corroded. You see this white stuff? And position it right here since it belongs to the mug board and this one in some models of macbook pro <coughs> you have to disconnect this retainer which is holding lvsd cable but looks like in this particular model there is no need in it it will be easily removed and also sometimes the microphone is right here but looks like this is a different logic port. No, I noticed that those retainer bolts have to be removed as well because while trying to remove the logic board there is no luck. Remove those two bolts. They not uh, those not uh, torque X, it's a Philips bolt. Philips screwdriver. Leave the bolts on place. And yes, it's basically pretty much the same. Just put this retainer right there, keep the bolts intact. There is a microphone here. You will need using the spongy, the sharp corner, to remove it before you will remove the logic board. This part is actually on glue, the microphone itself. So just very carefully remove it out using the sharp corner of the spudger. This particular model, I don't see any glue. I just removed the retainer and a little bit removed this rubber gasket for the microphone. And then I was able to put the logic board up together with the Mac safe board. Microphone is still here. He need to be removed out before you will remove the logic board. Just put cables a little bit up. Be careful not to break them. And using the spudge bar remove the microphone because it's mounted. You cannot use this sharp corner of the spudge bar to remove the microphone because you can break it. That's why I use a small pin flat screwdriver and the microphone itself is on glue from the bottom. That's why you will need to put flat screwdriver like this and remove the, him like this out. Like this. And then when it's done you can remove the logic board together with mug board out from the body of your Mac. This is the logic board. As you can see, removal of RAM models is not needed. Area is pretty dusty. 
a huge amount of dust deposit right here. The same as vents. They collected some dust as well. Right here, as you can see. More close view. And especially this area is very bad. Huge amount of dust. And right here, every, all over it. Maybe this why. Because it's very, very humid in Florida. That's why since all this dust became wet, all this build up, built up corrosion in the area or in the area where LVSD cable is connected and the mug board. Right now all this board will be cleaned, the heat sinks will be deassembled and mug board itself will be replaced with brand new one. This one I will try there is a special solution called Scrabble Bubble. It can remove corrosion. Let's compare the replacement. This is a replacement which was ordered by me. Looks like the same. Wow, it's magnetic. It's already magnetized to each other. And as you can see, the plug matches. It have actually five pins. And this is the replacement that have five pins as well. No corrosion. Pretty nice brand MagSafe board. This one has severe corrosion from the other side. Yeah, but the worst thing is right here. Hopefully I will be able to fix it using Scrabble Bubble and alcohol based solution. And of course this heavy deposit of the dust. This is the macro view for you to better realize how bad it is right here. Very very dusty. And the cooling fan itself. As you can see the system was overheating. Let's proceed and let's firstly remove the RAM models and then let's deassemble all heat sinks and deep clean the logic board. Then replace MAC board with brand new one. The RAM models are removed. Let's, let's remove the heat sinks because we will need to reapply the new thermal compound anyway not only to clean it from heavy humid dust use a Phillips screwdriver remove this, this and this bolt as well as this as soon as the heatsink was removed make sure that you do not lose the springs they go between the heatsink frame and the bolt just keep all of them on places just like this. As you can see all thermal compound is almost gone from both CPU and GPU which is very bad. You will need to use isopril based liquid to clean all this area as well to remove all dust and try to get rid of this corrosion. The next you have to disconnect mug save mag save board this one just remove this cable out mag save board is removed pretty much corroded it will be replaced with brand new one that's why you don't need to clean it just put it somewhere into trash no need in it anymore this is the microphone it was glue you don't need to apply glue again, you will just need to sit him in. Disconnect the speaker assembly. Not here, it's just on glue. But right there, you need to disconnect this cable, where you will need to use plastic sharp tip of spudgy. And this one is under tape. 
the same way. Disconnect this cable and this cable. As soon as those two cables are disconnected using the sharp edge of spudge, you can just simply remove the speaker assembly because it's just on a glue. Then it will easily will stick in back on place. And right now clean the whole board, remove all dust, remove all thermal compound. It will take some time and as well as this corrosion have to be cleaned. Actually a few tips. Thermal compound itself is good contact for electricity. And as you can see those transistors are affected with compound and shortening it. That's why you have to make sure that before you will assemble everything back on, you have to separate them and completely remove all compound. But be very careful, they are very very tiny and small and you easily can strip them, which you, you don't want to do. Just separate it and then use again the scramble bubble solution to completely remove all thermal compound between these transistors which are located on a GPU unit. Besides it there is also this one which was affected with, uh, let me switch to macro, the Mac save board located right here and as you remember this chip was very very badly affected with corrosion as you can see almost all corrosion is gone and chip didn't get permanent damage from corrosion there is some signs of it which will be soon removed mug board itself the old one don't need to be cleaned because i am simply will remove the new one the new one as you can see completely clean and this one is corroded this one trash this one will be installed and luckily i have to make sure that i will completely remove all corrosion from here As you can see right now, it's totally clean, completely everywhere, no dust, dust free, all ports, all of them. Right now, as you remember, it was signs of corrosion nearby MagSafe board. This is from a view from the other side. Mag board is located right here. Remember, corrosion was located on this chip don't see any signs of corrosion anymore everything cleaned mug board will be removed and replaced that's why I didn't clean it and right now it's time since it's totally clean it's time to clean it with isobril based wipes it will prevent the corrosion in the future they based on alcohol it's pretty strong smell like vodka very important step will help to prevent it up to two years just clean it very good all angles when it's totally clean let it dry it's better to use oven but sometimes you can overheat it way too much that's why if it's a sunny day especially if you live in Florida just use a regular sun for a couple of days it would be the best check this out how it looks extra super clean everywhere 